So how do you make a shapefile in ArcGIS Pro? Sometimes you're working here in ArcGIS Pro and you might have a feature that you have here, a feature layer that has all this great information in it. And But you might be working with people on your team who don't use ArcGIS Pro. Maybe they're using ArcMap, for example, or a third party uh, platform. And you wanna get this file to them. I mean, today you have some options with the share you know, you can go ahead and package these up and share them up online as a layer package. And ArcGIS.com will kind of take care of some of the conversion problems for you. But sometimes you just want to deal with a good old fashioned shape file. And that way you can go ahead and email that out to someone. Um, as you can see with ArcGIS Pro, um, you your files are all being stored into a geodatabase. And this becomes a little bit tricky because even though you know that is a file it's not something that's easy to share like a shape file and so what you want to do to make a shape file in ArcGIS Pro is that you need to export this layer uh, into its own file so if I go here and I choose export features so I right click the, the SEC layer and I choose data export features it gives me the ability now to change my output location from the geo database and actually put the output location as the folder and so if I go here into the folder I was working in, SEC, you have to not go too deep into it because if you go into GeoDatabase, you're back to GeoDatabases. So you need to hit OK here. This is what's a little bit tricky about ArcGIS Pro versus just like any other program. I can't just name my file here. I have to first select the output location and then I can say the name of the file. Now here I can add in those that famous file extension dot shp whenever i now name the file sec points shp and i run that it's going to go ahead and it's going to create that file so now if i go back into my art catalog and i refresh this you'll see here you have this shape file this is ready now to be emailed just remember whenever you want to email it or mess with it you may go over to your Windows Explorer and you might see here now the file. Just remember that SHP files are going to be everything. You have to send all this. Okay? Not the log file though. So you can take off the log file. But the rest of it you need to send. And the way to send that out it will be as a zip file. So whenever you select all the files besides the of course log file, if you're in Windows, right click that, get a time for the contextual menu show up, and then you have an option here, send to compressed folder. When I do that, that becomes now a zip file. This file here, that's what you want to email out. So if you email out someone that file, they're going to be able to extract it and get all of the files that are needed for the shapefile to work. So again, in order to make a shapefile in ArcGIS Pro, you're going to have to export because the files that you make in ArcGIS Pro are automatically going to be being stored here to GeoDatabase. To export, you have a couple options. You can export from here, export, feature class, feature class. Here's even an option here, feature class of shapefile. That's even going to make things a little bit faster for you. Output name, again, you have to just put on here SEC points. Let's put two on there, dot SHP, run. And that gets you a feature class. The other option is to go over here and choose data export features. And that's going to let you have the same kind of wizard that pops up. Remember, change the location from the geodatabase location to just a folder location. And then you can name it with the .shp extension to create that file.